Welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, hey, hello. Okay, this is part two. If you saw part one, uh, we forgot to go over the fairy items. If you're playing fairy, uh, initially you get fairy queen crown, damage and ability power, after attacking gain percent increase. And then if you play six, you get the armor, gain increased healing and shielding, and heal for damage based on whoever's wearing this crown. Then they get upgraded to reading items at 9, which just amplifies all of their effects. Okay, cool. Now that we get that out of the way, we can get into the thick of it. Look at how long this is. These are all of the charms. I'm sure most of these are going to be subject to change. I'm sure all of this is going to be pretty interesting to play. So they all have a unique cost, a unique time that they can appear... And I think you can only buy one of them per stage. So after you buy one, they won't appear again. But they take up the fifth shop slot. And you can always reroll your shop to try to find a different one if you don't like the one that you're offered. I wonder if it'll always offer you one right at the beginning. If that's kind of what it seems like. Yeah, you get you get offered. You can buy one per round, but you can be offered more by rerolling. And I think it's probably always going to offer you one in your first shop so you don't have to reroll so that you can always just choose to buy it if you want to. That way it will never be a situation where like your opponent has a charm and you don't have a charm and it feels really bad because you weren't ever offered one and you didn't want to spend two gold to reroll to find one. But in the late stages of the game, you'll be able to reroll to find better ones potentially, which is pretty cool. That is what we're looking for. There's probably going to be some pretty strong ones. You can see they're sorted by economy, combat, trait, and miscellaneous based on the type of wand that they have. Looks like we could sort by them if we wanted to. Which is kind of cool. I definitely like that. Maybe we'll do that. Let's start with the economy ones. Refresh your shop with all one cost champions. That seems pretty bad, but it's free. So these first four are free. 50% chance to gain one gold for each coin flip you've used. Interesting. So maybe you get offered a bunch of coin flips. You just keep flipping the coin for zero gold, get a little extra gold. Reroll your shops with champions one cost lower. Interesting. Interesting. You see that a lot the other way around, where you get a higher cost shop, but this one's for reroll comps. This seems like something that you would be able to buy two of, you know? Like, if you bought this, it wouldn't affect your combat, so why would they only make you buy one, you know? Does that make sense? It seems like you could buy this economy one, and you could maybe buy one of the combat ones. Um... Polymorph, a one-cost champion you have, transforms into a two-cost champion. Next combat, add two to your streak. Wow. If you win with the next player combat gain, gold costs one gold. Pretty interesting. Um, a two-cost champion you have transforms into a three-cost champion. Or lose one player health, gain two gold. Okay. You and your opponent gain one gold. Reroll your shop with all two-cost champions. Gain an item component if you win in under 15 seconds. Kind of cool. Reroll your shop with all three costs. Roll a dice. Gain gold equal to the result. Cost two gold. Really good chance to be profitable. Actually, it's if it's a six-sided dice, that's a huge chance to be profitable. Gain two free rerolls. Cost two gold. So one free reroll, basically. This round, the next champ you buy is free. That could be interesting. That's free. If you win the next player combat, gain 10 gold. 2 gold, can win big. That's the better version of this one, Minor Gambit and Major Gambit. The count, reroll your shop with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Reroll your shop with all 4s. Every 20 seconds your shop... Or 4... 4... 20 seconds your shop refreshes for free every 2 seconds. Oh, Jesus. For six gold, you get ten free rerolls, basically. But you only get two seconds to react to everything that shows up. That's going to be really crazy. I thought they were trying to get rid of APM checks, but that's still kind of fun. 
Minor Polymorph, a 4 cost champion, becomes a 5 cost champion. Lose health, gain 6 free shop rerolls that last until used. That one's free. Replace all champions in your shop with 1 cost higher. Reroll your shop to all 5 costs. If you would be eliminated, remain alive. Okay. Combat. Target dummy. Cool. 200% movement speed. Whatever. 30% shred and sunder. Kind of useful. Highest champion grows gaining more health. Okay. Team gains attack speed for one round. All your items transform into static shift for one round. Okay. Your highest attack speed unit shrinks gaining more attack speed. Gain a 300 health shield to your one star champs. Ugh. I toot. Yeah. And where were we? At 25 seconds, your team gains your team gains damage amp. That's kind of neat, but also not super helpful. 10 seconds stun enemies. Six non-removable giant spelts. What does that mean? Non-removable. One cost champs without items gain a suspicious trench coat artifacts. That's cool. Split into tons of units. Champions gain an unstable treasure chest. Temporary thieves gloves. More AD jumps into the back line. Cool. Gain a voidling. Gain health for every 10 gold you have for one round. Gain one gold. Next combat your team gains 50 health. Team's physical damage is dealt as magic damage. Four random items become artifacts. 30 armor. 50% chance to drop gold. Mana is refunded. Magic resist. Attack range. Gain a dummy. Okay. So a lot of these are pretty interesting. Seem kind of useful. There's way too many to memorize all of them. I'm sure at a certain point we will have a pretty good idea of what's really strong and what's really not. But because there's so many, it seems like you could get some really bad stuff. And you're pretty much always going to have to spend at least one gold on them to like remain in tempo with the lobby. But like for two gold, gain a dummy and they drop gold as they take damage versus just like gain a dummy for free. I don't know. The power creep is interesting. Temporary Dragon's Claw instead of a dummy. Temporary Bramble Vest. But like, you know, this could be really good into some comps or really useful. Or really useless, I mean. Gains decaying attack speed for one round. Team is immune to crowd control effects. Three random units on your back are untargetable. Gain two target dummies for this round. 10% max health. Delta's true damage. Burn and wound enemies. 99% chance to dodge attacks for 4 seconds. That's kind of weird. But like for 3 gold compared to 2 gold to do that. Like 4 seconds of immunity of your enemies not gaining any mana for attacking seems crazy. Temporary emblem for your most active trait for 1 round. Wow. For 8 gold? 8 gold for 1 round of temporary power? But like maybe you're stuck at... 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 and like you get this one and you like automatically win one fight preserves your life but if, if you're on the receiving end of that that feels terrible but that's also 8 gold you could roll for like that extra trait I don't know every 6 seconds a champion joins combat from the bench that's hilarious and definitely overpowered 2 champions without items gain completed items Frontline, obviously, like, look, these are, like, stage 5 plus, so you're not going to get this on stage 1 and, like, automatically win the game, but on stage 5, it's hard to compete against some of these. Gain a completed item. Frontliners spawn a Voidling. Back row gains attack speed. Champs without items gain trench coat. Three temporary thieves gloves. Two unstable treasure chests. One random completed item becomes a Radiant. Or a big dragon. A lot of combat power. Then there's trait specific ones, which is pretty cool. Your Eldritch Old God is summoned immediately. 
your bees gain attack speed, witches gain ability power, you get eight extra pyro, which gives you more attack speed. Winter Ice Shoulders gain more health, which is when you kill something, it becomes a soldier on your bench. Random Portal Champion, kind of OP for a reroll comp. For two gold, could be the five cost guy, could win you the game. If you win, gain a copy of your highest cost fairy. That's Melio, that's two cost. If you win, get a Melio, that's broken. Next combat, Time Champions gain 30% more attack speed when the countdown completes, so big, big chrono buff. Dragons deal 1% health as bonus true damage. And your highest arcana champ gains 15 damage amp and durability for one round. Pretty stacked. And now miscellaneous. Reveal who your opponent is. Gain a remover. Gain a one-star copy of the first enemy champ to die. Gain a random minor effect. Whatever that means. One-star champion of a random champion you feel the last champ last combat. That seems pretty good. Um, this could potentially be really expensive or really inexpensive for one gold. You're always getting your money back, but you could get a five cost champ. Comfort food. Oh no, you can't because it's stage two to three. So you're never really going to get that later. Comfort food, gain one player health. If you lose your next gain two more health, gain two XP for each study hard. You've bought this game. So lots of buy that lots of more study. And then the last thing we need to check is the Ascendant ones from Vic, from uh, Zareth later on. One health, Escalating Heal, you bought this game. Next champ, gain one XP for each unit your team kills. Lesser Duplicator for five gold, that's pretty cheap, all things considered. Eight gold for a component anvil, 15 gold for an uncraftable emblem. One gold for a salvager to bench your units and break their items apart. Uh, random one or two cost champion stars up. Random champion holding three completed items gains 300 health permanently. Gain a random effect. Gain a copy of a component from the first enemy your team kills. Copy of each one cost champion for 10 gold, which is technically profitable by three gold. 15 gold for a spatula. One gold for a reforger and a remover. Six gold for a permanent three star one cost champ. 10 gold for a major champion duplicator, 18 gold for an artifact, 15, 25 gold for a support anvil. Interesting that they think that support anvils are in general more useful than an artifact. I guess that makes sense. Or 99 gold, lose 66 player health, and gain a three star five cost champion. So you not only have to have 100 gold, you also have to have more than 66 health. And if you get that on stage seven, you just win the game. But if you have more than 66 health on stage 7, you're probably going to win the game anyway. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Last thing we have to check. Zareth has some unique ones. And they are free, apparently. First one, if you win, gain 8 gold. If you lose, gain XP. This round, rerolls cost 1, and buying XP costs 3. Next combat, Zareth gains damage amp. Your team gains damage amp. This one, random five cost champion and a two star shared trait. Very OP. Basically just that one augment, right? Um, Reroll your shop with all zaps. You can buy one this round, which casts twice. What's a zap? We'll never know. I guess we'll figure it out. Increase your five cost odds by 4% permanently. What the frick? Next combat, all your one star champions start up. Other champions gain 200 health and 20 ability power. Okay. Support item and artifact anvil. Target dummy for one round. Strikes targets with lightning. And gain a copy of every four cost champion. That is incredibly profitable. What's 12 times four? 48 gold? 48 gold? This is worth 48 gold. Also, by the way, they are all named after tarot cards. That's pretty badass in my opinion. Now... These are the new portals. Obviously, we are keeping portals forever. People like portals. I'm not seeing anything new. We already know what all of these do. Yeah, we like tarot cards. Tarot cards are cool. And now 
we have over 100 new augments. Holy frick. Holy frick. Golden quest. First time you have 161 or more gold, gain a two star five cost champion and three items tailored to them. Your preservers gain both mana and health and they deal bonus magic damage or bonus damage. Sorry. Uh, shimmer skill items. After upgrading four champions to three star, gain a magnificent reward. Gain four one cost champions. So one cost reroll, but for an augment. Interesting. Anger issues. This one we saw earlier. Very funny. All of your current and compute and future completed items turn into Ginsu's Rage Blades. Your Ginsu's Rage Blades give you bonus damage and ability power and bonus armor and MR. And you only have Ginsu's Rage Blades. That might be completely broken. Who knows, dude? There's a lot of really cool Ginsu's Rage Blades holders. Arcana Crest, Arcana Crown, Arcana Conduit. Chosen Arcana gains attack speed and health for each unique fielded. Gain Arian Hecarim, whatever. Assassin's Toolbox is Collector plus Prowler's Claw for the dashy dash slappy slaps. Very cool. Avenge the Fallen after three units, three units die. Team gains 15% damage, 15 ability power, 15 armor, and 15 magic resist. Eh. Eh. Beast friends. Honey Masters gain one more bee. When bees jump, the gains a 30% max health shield. Cool. Beggars can be choosers. You get plus two augment rerolls for all other augments. Gain four gold. That's not very good. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Birthday present, blaster, blinding speed, blah, blah, blah. Blooming Lotus, new jewel Lotus. Your team's can, abilities can crit every three seconds. Gain more critical strike chance. Branching out, build a bud, call to chaos. Caramelized comforts, sugar craft units gain health and 8% chance to drop one gold on kill for each opponent equipped. Up to six, so six times eight is 24? No. Six times eight is what? Uh, 16, 32. 48? Hello? 48, okay. So up to 48% chance to drop gold on kill. Pretty broken. Uh, category 5, Runin's Hurricane. Additional bolt, dealing 95% chance. Damage, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Definitely going to be broken on certain champions. Just stack Runin's at that point. You're just going to kill everything. Pyromancer's attacks deal bonus magic damage for every two cinders collected. Cool. Clear mind. Uh, combat bandages. The first time an ally unit falls below 50% health, they restore health over two seconds. Uh, clockwork, your team gains 5% attack speed every four seconds in combat. Yeah. Crash test dummies, blah, blah, blah. Dark alley dealings. Gain a suspicious trench coat after three combats. Gain an unstable treasure chest. Ooh. Enemies hit by encanter spells deal reduced damage at max stacks. Encanters gain 10 mana every two seconds. Cool. Gain a Galio. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I swear to God, Bonk, you said this earlier at one point, right? Deja vu. Gain a Galio. Your strongest Galio gains three range. His spells deal increased damage but no longer stuns. This is It turns him into Deja, right? Wait, that's hilarious. So it turns Galio into the dragon set Galio. I'm pretty sure somebody in my chat called that at one point, maybe like a month ago. So imagine if they make this hero augment. Hilarious. Double down at the start of each round. Gain gold equivalent to the length of your win or loss streak. Maximum four gold. Dragons deal 15% damage to burned enemies. Enemies that are burned take 12% damage Deal 12% damage to dragons. Ah. In a dragon's claw, blah, blah, blah. First time you buy XP each round, gain three gold. Whenever you buy EXP, refresh your shop. Whoa. Cool. Duo Q, gain two random five cost champs and two copies of a random component. Crest, crest, endless hunt. Team gains damage for every takedown. Epoch, eternal growth, shapeshifters begin combat next to another shapeshifter, gain permanent health. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, explosive growth at the start of the next four rounds. Gain XP. Bigger version of that. Fast forward after casting ability, Chronomancers gain attack speed and Omnivimp. Ascension, find vintage, uh, find your center. Champion starting in the center, gain damage reduction, gain dam bonus damage and max health, sorry. Random component at the start of every stage, random emblem. Ooh, for each random each emblem equipped, your team gains 40 health. That's so broken. If you get this on the beginning stage, you get like four chances at finding an emblem that fits your team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Winning combat against players gives bonus orbs. The longer your loss streak, the bigger the payout. Fortune favors the bold. Huh. Fortune, but as an augment. We don't have a lose streak economy augment, do we? I just noticed that. Frost trait also grants placeable frost at you. Has an eternal winter. Gains health for the frost trait levels. First time it would die, instead regenerates 40 health. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Adaptive Helm, blah, blah, blah. China Mighty. Team gets larger. More health. Hard Commit. Random Emblem. Now and after each carousel, gain a one star of the trait with a cost equal to the stage, plus one. So you get five costs of... This is broken. This is broken. This is so broken. This is completely broken. Get an Emblem, and then on stage four, you get a five cost that fits your team. That's broken. So you always get to hit the, the trait marker immediately. That's completely insane. And it just starts giving you copies. So stage four, stage five, you get two, five costs of that same thing for free. Imagine that on almost literally any of these. Whoa, 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 this article is hugely long. But like, oh, we got portal. Now we get two Noras on, by stage five. You just need one more, you three star for free. You get eight portals automatically and it summons just the most stuff ever okay cool that's a game winner that's a game winner and right there hard commit where was it high horsepower big lilia lilia hero augment more attack speed more movement speed more damage three random two stars uh higher education Every time scholars spend mana, gain attack speed, extra ionic sparks, ionic sparks do more damage, and cover a larger radius. Randon's omen, increased by one hex, increased efficiency, gain a sentinel with tailored offensive items, it gains stronger at the start of each stage, and that's kind of cool. So you turn a golem into a hard carry, hilarious. Uh, 16 gold at the start of each round, gain one permanent reroll for every gold above 50, maximum 100. Huh. Gain 26 gold at the start of each round, gain one permanent reroll. Oh, it's the same thing. Item collector, more health for more units. I'm kind of getting bored of reading all of these. Holy frick, dude, there's so many new ones. Which is fun, which is great. Don't get me wrong. That's going to make this set way more interesting by default. Item ladder. Temporary item. Unequips and transforms at the beginning of each round. Item quality increases with each stage. Long distance mentorship of an ally. Starts next to a higher cost ally. It gains attack speed and health. Okay. Um, Rumble hero augment. Rumble's ability cost, deals more damage, costs less mana, but no longer reduces damage. Also give Rumble Omnivamp. Rumble is a two cost? Yes. Yes, he is. Um, Molten Caramel. Fun. Because he's a, one of those guys, right? He's a caramel boy, a cake building boy. Whenever you start up, a unit gain one gold, gain four gold immediately. Okay. If you did not purchase a champion last round, gain two free rerolls. Okay. I'm only reading all of this just so you guys don't have to read. You guys can just listen to me go over it and dr drone on for another 30 minutes probably. I hope you are enjoying this video. Pilfer gained five gold. Each round gain a once 
dark hoppy of the first champion you killed last combat. Cool. Placebo, gain 10 gold, your team gains 1% attack speed. Placebo plus, more gold, more attack speed. Artifacts, portal, gain a Galio and a Zoe. At the start of each round, gain a random 1-3 to three cost portal champion. Big portal up. Which curse lasts forever? Which abilities also curse the nearest uncursed champion? If all champions are cursed, gain attack damage and ability power. Wow. Whenever mage casts, they gain mana to the nearest ally. Okay. Win or lose by three or fewer units, gain two gold. Uh, press the attack, multi-strikers attacks, apply a stack. Every third stack deals true damage equal to the target's maximum health. Okay. Raid boss, uh, strongest bastion, interesting. Wait, what? That augment ends the game? What did I miss? The witch curse permanently? A few frogs, they stay frogs. Holy frick. That's gross. So if you hit eight, eight witch plus potions 201, you automatically win the game. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Can't beat that, but hopefully it's rare. You do need two emblems to hit eight witch, so it's not like it's going to happen very often. But when it does happen, it's GG for sure. Restart mission, delete all champions on your board and bench, gain two random two star three costs, two star two costs, two star one costs. What the frick? So that's cool. You don't get gold for it. Team has 8% Omnivamp increased by one for every champion that starts combat in that same row. Team has 12 Omnivamp, oh, same thing but stronger. Every three seconds, all fairies restore max health and the fairy queen gains damage and ability power for other surviving fairy. Whoa. Fairy's gonna be OP. School mascot. Eldritch Summon is holding beneficial items. Gains health and ability power. Scoreboard scrapper, shopping spree, shields up, shapeshifter crown, slam in. Uh Shimmer Scale Essence, gain a diamond hands in five rounds, game a gambler's blade. Cool. Still not very good though. When one of your units casts, their next auto deals bonus magic damage equivalent to 175% of their ability power. Ah, so you get like a Lich Bane for free? Oh, gain a Lich Bane. In three rounds, gain a Mana Zane. Oh. Spider Queen, two star lease. At least no longer stuns, but poisons two closest enemies, dealing magic damage over seconds and healing her? No. Spell cost 20 less mana. Spin to win, two Wukongs. Strongest Wukong ability steals with attack damage instead of resists. After each cast, Wukong gains 30% attack damage and 30% attack speed. Wukong's gonna be fun. Spoils of War is back! Oh, hell yeah. Spoils of War is one of my favorite augments in the game. Easily one of my favorites. You just buy that, you just take that, you just play like a maniac for the whole game. Get a bunch of extra duplicators, extra gold and stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. Now and at the start of each stage, open up a shop of unique four cost champions and gain two gold. That's like, what's that one that we just had? Tailored four costs always at the start of every stage, but like worse because you don't get to actually get the four costs for free. So that's pretty trash. Comparatively. Support golem. One golem that fights for your team equipped with two permanent support items. Uh, gain a Nunu, Nunu here augment. Gains health, damage amp per 100 health. Whenever spell kills, permanently gains health. Cool. Nunu. Nunu, very cool. Nunu, you are a one cost or a two cost? Two cost. Lots of two cost hero augments this time around. Very fun and interesting. And we are definitely getting towards the bottom. Wait a second, I missed this one. Gain a sniper's focus and then a fish bones. Okay. I probably missed a couple, but I'm trying my hardest. Spider Queen, Three's a Crowd, Tiny Titans, Trade Sector, uh, Too Tanky. When you field exactly two costs, two copies of a champion, they gain health. When one copy dies, that his buddy gets max health shield. Interesting. Gain Hysterics. When its effect triggers, the unit gains attack speed for the rest of combat and immunity to crowd control for 10 seconds. Bang XP costs one less, gain three health and two free rerolls whenever you level up. 
Team deals 8% more damage. Um, Witchcraft Crown. Witchy Wallop. Gain a 2-star Poppy. Strongest Poppy's ability. No longer shields, but strikes 3 times, so turns her into Set 10 Poppy. Worth the wait. Gain a random 1-cost unit. After 4 rounds, gain a copy of that unit at the beginning of each round for the rest of the game. Ah. Free 3-star 1-cost. Or upgraded prismatic version gain a free three star two cost cool and finally blitzcrank hero augment gain a two star blitz your strongest blitz becomes supercharged dealing magic damage to two nearby enemies every four seconds on every ability cast cool 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 all of this other stuff blah 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 that's a real quick go up kind of slow okay first time you activate seven non-unique traits gain five random emblems Wow. Gain a random component. For every three charms you purchase this gain, gain another component. Max plus four. Wow, we're always going to build charms, so that's probably really broken. Um, Thorn-plated armor. Gain a bramble. Brambles deal more damage. And heal the holder for the damage they deal. Um, Hopefully that's all I missed. Hopefully I didn't miss much more than that. I think we're doing pretty good though so far. Shields up, vanguards have more shields. Immunity to crowd control effects, okay. Uh huh. I think we're doing good. I think we think we didn't miss much else. Replication. One of three components for the next two rounds. Gain a copy of that component. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of fun stuff. Well, hopefully you guys are as excited for this set as I am. I know I stopped uploading gameplay videos and just immediately dove into this set, but I'll tell you what, this is way more interesting, way more cool. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I promise I'll respond. See ya. Again, I think I love you again. I think I love you again.